Hello everyone, today I took apart my Canic P120 and my new baby, the uh, CC75 SP01 and I tried almost hundreds of combinations to see what parts from CZ fits on the P120. Um, some will not fit, but very few. Uh, most of them will fit and some will require a little bit of sanding. This is not going to be a very exciting video. Uh, I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures showing both parts and telling you if they uh, can work or not. The most surprising were those blocks here. Uh, <laughs> the C75 uh, sear block, uh, which one is it? Uh, this guy here with a little spring right on the side uh, will work on the P120. Um, in a few areas, the Canic is simplified. Uh, this is one of them. You don't have that little spring here. Uh, you do not have, okay, on the uh, CZ, let me see if I can do a close up. Here comes a little port that does not exist on the Canic and something on the other side here is a, a spring. Let me see. Here is the spring and port. So that does not exist. Uh, one thing that's a bit more complicated on the, the safety lever. Ah, there we go. On the right, everything on this video is going to be on the right CZ, on the left Canic. Um, on the CZ, this is molded into the metal. It's like a, a, a stopper. And on the Canic, you have a ball bearing here. Uh, very easy to lose it, so be careful with that. So I will think the CZ is a bit simplified. Uh, on the CZ, you can also unscrew uh, that uh, screw that released the uh, uh, that spring here for the trigger arm and the magazine release you can remove it without removing the entire trigger assembly on the Canic you cannot I guess the distance here is shorter and so you have to remove the trigger assembly uh, but you will be surprised uh, a lot of things fit what does not fit I can tell you there are only a few parts and they can be uh, trimmed. This is a CZ hammer. And if you want it to fit on the Canic, you will have to enlarge that hole here. Uh, pins are interchangeable. Many things are interchangeable. The trigger springs being different will still work. Um, I mean, everything almost can be swept. What cannot? Anyway, I have a list. I suggest you download this from the internet because I'm going to take uh, that list with the number and the name and tell you if it fits. It will be a yes if it fits, a no if it doesn't, and what is required if uh, you need to do something about that part. Anyway, uh, take your time, have a cigarette, have a drink, whatever you want to do, and enjoy that list coming up. The first part we're going to cover is part number one on the diagram, which is the frame. And the frames cannot be swept, of course. Uh, here is the Picatinny rail underneath each uh, frame. On the right, you have the CC75 SP01. On the left, the Canic P120. Same thing, CZ on the right, Canic on the left. You can see the uh, CZ Magwell is a bit more flared than the uh, Canic. Moving along to part number two on our list, it is the slice stop. And yes, it can be swapped. And the only drawback is if you use a CZ75 slice stop, it will be harder to put in and remove. I don't know why they are harder. Probably the tolerances are tighter. I much prefer the uh, Canic lot easier to remove but it works next are part number three and four the slide stop spring and slide stop spring p 
then uh, those one you shouldn't have to replace. I haven't tried them. They are kind of a pain to pull out and, and, um, and put back, but uh, you should never have to move those out. Okay, next will be the trigger. Part number five is the trigger and you can use it as long as you open up the area where pin number six or part number six goes into because on the canic this pin is larger um, pin number six or trigger pin number six will not fit uh, and the trigger bar number seven will fit no problem whatsoever the part number eight the trigger spring even so it's different than the canic will fit and work fine and finally the part number uh, nine the pin is one of three pins the two others are with the hammer we'll go over it later are identical as the canic next is the ejector slash sears block etc this entire assembly of parts which is number 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 put together as a block will fit 100 percent onto the canic p120 that was a breakthrough and i love it and here still on the right is the cz uh, sears block ejector and on the left the canic and the block will fit into the canic and function 100 percent all right next are the hammer assembly uh, part number 16 the hammer on the right again the cz hammer the um, the pinhole is smaller on the CZ, so you can use the hammer, but you will have to enlarge the size of the hole. Then you have the uh, disconnector. Here is a disconnector, a little bit different on the CZ and the uh, Canic, or the, the CZ will work perfectly on the Canic. Then we will have the, uh, the main spring strut, number 20, uh, absolutely identical. And from there, you have the uh, part number, uh, what is it, 18, the hammer pin. It is smaller than on the Canic. That's why you need to enlarge the hole of the hammer. And then it will work fine. But the part number 18 will not work on the Canic. Again, pin number nines. You have two on the hammer. Those are absolutely identical with the Canic. Let's move on to the next parts. Parts 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 will all work. Some are not exactly the same, but they will work fine. So go ahead if you need to change them. Parts number 26 and 27, the grips, they will need some light sandings to fit in. Uh, part number 28, the uh, grip, panel screws will fit without any issues now part number 29 the safety will not work and part 30 and 31 are not part of the canic so uh, they won't be needed let's move on to the slide part 41 42 which is uh, the uh, guide rod uh, 43 and 44 uh, 41 which is the recall spring can be swapped the guide rod can be swapped. The barrel is way too thick. It cannot be installed. Uh, the uh, bushing cannot be installed either. Uh, and 44, of course, the, uh, the slide cannot. For the sight, uh, part number 45 and 53 can be used with the light sanding and the part number uh, 46 uh, that holds the front side is too wide. Now, if you can find a way to set it down it will be able to be used now move on to the extractor area the part number 50 the extractor a different design will not fit uh, extractor pin part number 51 will fit and part number 52 the extractor spring is a bit too strong you will have to cut a coil or two now we have the part number 54 the firing pin it will not fit unless you send it down. And part number 55, the firing pin spring is too wide, so that will not work out. And we are getting on to the last few parts, the part number 57, 
that's one uh, firing pin row pin one into another so a and b uh, it's just too wide it will not fit and i doubt of the quality of it uh, i have uh, had some issue with mine and part number 58 firing pin block stop uh, this is way too wide but good luck on sending it down and finally part number 59 the the firing pin block stop spring will work anyway that is the list of all the CZ parts that can and should fit or not in your Canic handgun. Good luck, until next time, see you.